Looks like I tried to give you guys some music beforehand, and what do I get for my troubles? <laughs> I get nothing. I get nothing. So let's uh, let's switch back over here. So, how's everyone doing today? So I was supposed to have a special guest Mark Street joining me today to uh, do the the Lego build here for this guy. So it sits yet another day. Uh, he's going, he got too busy, too crazy. The lifestyle of a freelancer. So in any event, we are going to be doing the, uh, the second one I bought last week, which is the Lego yacht. So this is the, oh, it's our diving yacht. So last week we did the, uh, let's see, the, did the snow cat, which was pretty fun. He was pretty cool, fun little build. This week we're gonna do this guy. So uh, we'll see how this goes. So we'll, we'll take a few minutes, we'll build, build this. If anybody's in chat, feel free to say hi. Got a little coffee this morning. Oh, looks good, looks good. All right. If you're joining me for the first time, you know, be sure to say hi, say the hellos, do what you're doing. Um, basically, if you're new to the channel, I just, uh, a couple times a week, I just put on the camera and do things that kind of give me joy. So, for instance, Tuesday tends to be a little bit of a free-for-all. So today, that's why we're building Legos. Some other days, we may do something a little more... Um, normal. Uh, I may do some artwork, some pen and ink work. I've done that in the past. We've done a lot of different things. So I find it, you know, kind of fun to just, you know, schedule a little bit of time to kind of do something like this for an hour or so and then uh, continue on. Thursdays turned into cooking day. Um, I'm, I'm not making my life any easier having to move my camera set up to three different locations a week. Uh, four if you count when I do streaming of 18xx games like we did the last night. I, uh, I, I create a lot of work for myself, no doubt. Uh, so it's, it's moderately fun. I kind of feels like it's cheating Lego. Not gonna lie. It's not much to build there. Like just... But I guess it actually floats. So I guess that's not too bad. Interesting. So anyway, uh, Thursday tends to be we do some uh, cooking. Uh, this week I'm planning on just kind of covering coffee and maybe we'll make some beignets. I got a great recipe for beignets that are from uh, that are very similar to the ones that you get at Cafe du Monde given to me by my good friend Tony Fryer. So I think we will... Uh, We'll give those a try. Uh, let's see. Let's give you guys the give you the insert can so you can kind of see what's going on down here. Uh, and then Sunday, Sunday I usually do digital painting where I fire up Photoshop or Illustrator or whatever I'm using, uh, and I do some artwork for the Fiasco Live that we do every Wednesday night. Uh, I'm kind of excited. We're coming up on a good one uh, in the next few days. We're going to be doing uh, just my friends, uh, family are getting together. Uh, we are going to do, it's going to be flight 1180 or 1108, one of those two. Uh, and it looks to be, it looks to be a lot of fun. So we shall see. I always have fun doing the thumbnails, and I, I try and do them artistically and have some fun. So, all right. So it's a smaller set. We're probably gonna we're probably gonna make it through this pretty quickly. Uh, how many pieces? Uh, it is 148. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> No, Dell, I don't want to play with your... 
Yeah, I realize that. I'm, I, just go away. Go away. All right. I'm just sitting here, just kind of have my comment moderator up. So, this is nice. I got to admit, I'm, I'm enjoying just kind of, just kind of chilling here for a second. So we kind of talked a little bit last week when I built the other Lego project about uh, nulling the uh, the components. So we will we're certainly going to do that again. Uh, it tends to be a very interesting way of doing things. Gives me a little downtime to kind of. And I'm pretty sure these two just go together. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb there and say that that sawfish happens. Uh, but nulling is just the act of sorting all these pieces by what they are um, and kind of lining them up at right angles to each other. I find it actually really kind of kind of nice and you know just relaxing because it's not like you're organizing just to clean something up, which tends to be you know, what happens right we just we have to organize it we have to clean it up it's that's the natural state of things this has been more of a you know kind of anticipatory getting things ready you know getting your ship in order ha, pardon the pun did not intend for that um, but it kind of is nice because it kind of builds a little anticipation as we go on here so we can kind of just you know, take our time. I'm not flying through this. Uh, I tend to find laying down pieces. If I have room and it's not too many pieces, is just easier. I mean, I've, I've done this, what, twice now? So it's not like I am an expert by any means. I most certainly am not. All right, there's a chance we're on the Twitch. I don't know, it, it worked earlier when I did a test run and then it it's just not, it doesn't look like it's coming up. Um, I, I do not know Twitch. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll start cross streaming some of my stuff so I can get familiar with the service. Uh, but you know, Renegade has a channel on Twitch so they asked, you know, hey, can you just cross stream your stuff? And I'm like, absolutely. I have no problem with that. That'd be fun. And. But what, what seems to be weird about it compared to YouTube, YouTube, you get a little bit of a, a break. You, you, when you when you go to start a video, you kind of have this waiting room that you're in and then you hit the go button. But with Twitch, it's kind of like you hit that same button. Now, all of a sudden you're live and you're out there. Well, these are very cool pieces, these little right angles. I dig those. Those are pretty snazzy. Um, so it's, it's a different animal, but, you know, I have allotted today from two to three to build this guy. I need a break. My last couple days have been rather full. I don't necessarily say stressful. They've definitely been pressure, but... Uh, you know, trying to get everything ready for what what is now. I can talk about the uh, the Renegade Con that we're doing, which is kind of exciting. It's it's not kind of exciting. It absolutely is exciting, and it's I feel like it's you know my my baby. This is my project. This is the thing that I've been working on for the last two three months now. Well, two months, three months would be a stretch. Uh, just trying to get everything ready and. You know, we hit the launch button. Of course, whenever you do that, anybody who who lives in the realistic world knows that is not a perfect moment. You can you can have everything set up. You can try and give yourself all the leeway possible. 
think you have everything in a row and I am a notoriously horrible speller. Uh, so there's that to contend with. I am not, you know, I, I'm not perfect by any means. And if you've hung around any of my channels, any of my stuff, you'll see I, it's a combination of typos and misspelling. So I always need to give time for somebody to look over my work and then go back in and fix it, which I, I utterly hate and it drives me insane and it ticks me off something fierce, but it doesn't tick me off at the person who points it out. It ticks me off at me because I feel like an idiot. <laughs> that's just not cool. So that's kind of been the last few days have been going through that, getting things ready for y'all. Hopefully you check it out. Uh, you can just go to, you know, renegadecon.com and it'll take you to our main site. Sign up. I got some really cool panels. I'm doing some interviews again, uh, which I think is kind of exciting. Because now, you know, I like interviewing. I do enjoy it. So might as well put those skills I've been working on to use. So uh, one thing you will not see, you'll notice I got a haircut, but you will not see me do a video on how to cut your own hair. That was, I've done scary things. That was, that was very scary. <laughs> Man, I'm kind of bummed. I was really looking forward to Mark joining me today. I even broke out the, uh, the Saturn V sitting behind me. Like we, we built that together as one of my, one of my favorite moments ever. And, uh, hopefully, hopefully my bud is good for next week. We'll try it again. We'll try it again. If not, I'll figure something. I always figure something. You know, almost didn't make it today because I had to do some, uh, some stuff. Oh, look at that. Generic Lego cannon. Very generic. Uh, yeah, I had to do a lot of quick adjustments that I was talking about earlier. So I almost didn't make it to hang out with y'all. But here I am. Just chilling like a villain, as it were. Trying to... Uh, I'm just... I'm just a guy trying to make some stuff. I, I kind of dig these sets and what they do, right? Like I, I like that they have these, um, you know, these multi-level sets. It's got like an underground, underwater part and it's got an above water part. And that's, that's cool and all, but it's really hard to display. <laughs> you know, it's like you give me all these little vignette things and I, I don't quite know what to do with them if I'm honest. You know, like, what do you, what do you do with the, you know, the, oh, oh wow, Lego crab. He's kind of awesome. He's awesome. Stickers, Mark's favorite. He'd be so happy I have stickers and he doesn't. He hates putting those things on. All right. I'm not trying to guilt Mark at all. I get it. Trust me. Trust me. I get it. <laughs> Life is uh, life is the freelancer. You get a lot of those last minute projects that just kind of, hey, can you do this thing? Can you get this done? Everybody's in a rush when everybody's not. It's just a uh, little underwater camera. That's that's the nature nature of it all, you know. So you gotta you gotta take the work when it comes. If I'm ever not here, I'm probably working on something there is literally a slice of watermelon interesting all right well we're almost done we got all of our all of our people bits i don't know why they have a boomerang i don't know what that's all about we'll see we got some fish we got some fins we got some head and hair all right we got some bodies got a little camera got some snorkels tanks got a bazooka because who doesn't need a bazooka underwater uh, that's going to be a dive buoy I do believe from the look of that picture I try not to think ahead too far as to what's going on because I kind of like to be a little surprised right cool so here we are that's nulling exciting huh
sitting there organizing stuff. Ugh. We're going to be a quiet day on the tubes today. That's fine. For some people, life is coming back slowly, slowly, slowly returning to normal. I hope you're finding peace as we make some uh, some happy Legos. All right. So let's start. So we get to build a diver first. These, this is pretty typical of a Lego build. Let's see. I wish it was that easy to put on a wetsuit. My goodness, it is not that easy to put on a wetsuit. Let me tell you, boys and girls. That's a whole fight in and of itself. It really is. Uh, we'll put him there. Put on his little tank. Pop that on. And then let's give him his, his snorkel. So scuba divers need to have snorkels. It's part of their more or less required equipment. Uh, you wouldn't think it, but when you're uh, trying to surface swim, you kind of need a snorkel so that you can breathe while everything's going on. Um, and you don't want to use your air supply. So the snorkel allows you to preserve that, which is kind of cool, right? All right. Awfully quiet out there in the chat. And that's cool. That's totally cool. So, how oh, that's funny. They have like, I got my shore hair and then I got like my, my underwater helmet. So you got, you got both here. So you get to, you get to choose what you want. All right. We got to actually I have to build the camera. We're going to put this little lens port on the front. That's nice. All right, so he's done. That's a him. Uh, let's see. This one is the the female face. Let's so get some lipstick. Well, in any event. Um, but so let's make this one. So we're gonna actually build her like she's gonna be on the boat. So we're just going to give her her. She's got a cool cap, like she's she's working on the boat. Let's see, just like that, which I dig. But what we'll do is we'll build the other parts, make the helmet, the dive helmet. We don't wear helmets. We wear, we'll usually wear a mask and snorkel. Maybe we'll have a uh, something else on, but typically speaking. We don't. All right. Give him his fins. So she has her dive gear sitting over there. And then what do you want me to do with this bazooka? Let's see what you're going to try and make this thing out to be. We come on, come on, Lego. I know it's a bazooka. You don't. You're not. You're not fooling me. I'm a, I'm a Lego builder from way back. I remember these space guns. All right, so I guess that's just a really telephoto lens camera is what Lego's tried to go for there. <laughs> I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it at all. Uh, clear drum, so we have one. Oh, we got like a little soda can lid. Oh, that's cool. So you have a little soda can lid and then she gets the... Uh, she can have the fruit on the boat, apparently. But you need a snack after diving, right? It's like, come on, Lego. Like, they're counting all these little things as pieces. I think you're kind of cheating a little bit. I said, oh, he gave you all those pieces. Yeah, sure you did. Sure you did. All right, so flag. So we got a dive buoy. Diver down. Good album, by the way. Right? Uh little Van Halen old school. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. So top left to bottom right. My trick last time I showed you, I like to use the knife to help set that. And now 
the flag should look the same way from both directions. So I know we might want to put it the other way so it's symmetrical with the other side, but that would not be right. But these are actually important because these help tell people that there's divers down below. So if they're coming by with boats and things, they don't run you over, which would be very bad. Very bad, let's be honest. All right, that's a cool. All right, got all your bits sitting over there. Got your cannon. You're not fooling anyone. All right. Now we're building a sandbar here. These guys. See, it's kind of easy when you do it this way because you can just, you know where everything was, you remember where you put it, you touched it one time. I really want to try a big Lego set. I may have ordered one. We'll see. Um, see what happens. But it's a little fun to be able to. Uh, to make that happen. Oh, I see what you're doing there. See, so put a little fish down there. He's going to be swimming out on the side. We are going to put our seaweed in that little hole there. Cool. And then I guess the uh, the swordfish it will be. He's supposed to kind of be on this. back there or or perhaps he does he go on that no he doesn't he might go on that he could be there a little swordfish radar all right and when do we get to build the boat all right so we got our our chest pretty cool little chest it's not completely lego-y is it oh there it is okay i see it now it's got the four, it's got like a four by one on top and it's got your standard two by four in the bottom. All right, not too shabby. All right, and it wants the, uh, one of these gems in the chest. I got ahead of myself. So we're gonna put the chest over there. We're gonna put this little, this little spriggy Right there, that's kind of cool. I love these, I love the little um, leafy pieces. Uh, they're also very expensive. If you ever want to buy them, I wanted to do that and I found that they were all super expensive and I'm like, that's just not cool. All right. So you want this other guy, we're gonna put him up there. We're just building a whole seascape. Now it looks like it actually does want him back on that high one that we thought about. And then the crab is just kind of, he's chilling nearby. There we go. Cool, cool. I dig that crab. He's kind of awesome. Alrighty. So... Might have an extra one of those. That could be pretty cool. Looks like we have some extra bits. Always get all of those little small bits. You tend to always get an extra one or two, right? It just seems to happen that way. All right, so it wants me to stick the Deluxe stickers on the side. All right. Now these are just long enough that my, my little knife trick will not work. So we will actually just place them by hand. Got a little crease there. All right, so it's about an eighth of an inch off the back of the boat.
So this deluxe one word or two. Here it's two. I don't know how I feel about that. Really don't. All right, got those on. So we have a bow sticker, sticker on the Bladinsky. It's fancy pinstriping on this boat. All right, so there we go. I do kind of feel like this is cheating the Lego, I'm not gonna lie. But if it floats, I might let you off the hook. I might let you off the hook. All right. More stickers. Mark, you'd be so happy. The nice thing about building these small sets is that, you know, I don't have to be so laser focused on the set that I can't talk and interact and chat with you guys. So there's always that. And I appreciate that because let's be honest. I do this for one reason. I don't do it for vanity. I don't do it as an excuse to buy Legos. Not entirely, anyway. I just do it so that if you're sitting at home, or you're sitting at work, or you're sitting in your home office and you're bored, and you need something on the telly, and you don't necessarily need something you can focus 100% on, but you need some background noise, and you don't necessarily want to listen to people play games, then uh, that's what I'm here for. That's all, that's all I'm trying to do. So, you know, when, when our current crisis is over, I don't know if I'll continue doing these. Maybe I'll do one or two. Same thing goes with my fiasco nights. That's just a way for me to help people find something to do on a Wednesday night and give them something to look forward to, right? I think it's important to have something to look forward to each week. Like, you know, that, that oh, I'm going to do this. It's going to be fun. You know, helps you kind of break a routine and develop one at the same time, right? It breaks that monotony, but it's still... Hopefully, gives you something to say. Oh, hey, I'm gonna. I can't wait to come learn how to make pour over coffee, or or how how should I make you know French press coffee? Things like that. Like if you find that interesting, then I think you'll find uh, that it's fun, you know. But I'm like I'm doing these things already. Why not turn on the camera while I do it? That's. It's the only reason I'm here, boys and girls, so if no one ever watches this, that's fine. I still got to chill. I still got to build some Legos. I don't care, but don't know that you'll see me do this indefinitely. This is me just passing time myself. Initially, it was for me to have something to do, right? It was to give me something to look forward to, something to plan in my day. And as my day is slowly filling up these days, yeah, who knows? I always like these blocks. These are always kind of cool, right? They kind of, these are these vented rib blocks. But Lego's kind of smart because they're, they're ribbed vertically on one side. And then on the other side, they're ribbed horizontally. So they kind of have that dual purpose if you ever need them. I think they're kind of cool. I like how they work. All right. And then I like how they'll throw just nondescript colors as part of the structure pieces. Like this yellow brick, you're never going to see that. So I'm like, what made them choose yellow for that? Was it because there's no other color? I mean, it could have been tan. It could have been the same white. But why did they choose yellow? What was, what was that? I'd like to know what the thought is there. It's got to be a reason, right? Like, come on, German Lego make designers. They don't, they don't do anything without a reason. 
Oh, Dell, I really don't want your support assist program running on my laptop right now. That's the only thing keeping the chat alive. Okay? I promise. All right, so we're going to build this kind of structure across the back. You got these these little guys. These are cool. The rounded pieces. I tell you what, when we built the um, the Saturn V, that was a that was a pretty cool build because it had so many long, big, curvy pieces, and it was pretty pretty fun to kind of go through them and. And they used a lot of them in different ways, too. So it wasn't just, you know, oh, you have these big, long pieces. No, then you have these. No. You know, so it was pretty cool. It was a really fun build. Uh, Adam Savage did a good build of that. And I did a speed build. Um, I just, I took it when I got uh, sent to Ohio for work. So I bought, I literally went into the Lego store. I was meeting my coworker at, the mall to drive out and I literally went in and I bought the set that morning and then I built it over the week I was on the trip because you know you're sitting in your room by yourself there's there's not a lot of choices for entertainment and I I hate just turning on the TV that just drives me nuts like if I if I can do something I, I would rather or learn something so I decided I was going to build a Built the Saturn V rocket, and it was all, it was a great build. It was a lot of fun. Ugh. All right, put some of the railings on. All right, and I'm not trying to speed build either. I don't. To me, building it is kind of nice there's something about legos that just kind of you know they click into place and things like that I'm not a creator by any means i enjoy building sets but i don't know i feel like i would never have enough of the right pieces whenever i wanted to build something different so i don't i don't know that i'd ever do that all right cool cool yeah, be sure to say hi if you're sitting in the chat, hanging out. Just watch me build silly little children's toys. Which I love so much. I do love Lego. I always, you know, we we are one of those families that, you know, I, I inherited the the file box full of, of bricks when I was a kid. Like, I don't know that I ever saw a set until I was, uh, I think I was almost... I so was old enough to start buying things myself, so I was probably, you know, get, so in that age where, you know, you're mowing lawns, so probably, like, just before you're a teenager, you know, that range, I was, I would go and I would save up my money and I would go buy, I, I was really into buying the Blue Box Space Lego sets, they were, that was what I built as a kid, and I had a bunch of them. But they were all, they were not they were just like science fiction space Legos, right? They they weren't really you know, inspired by anything real and they weren't super fantastical. They were just really look them up, like the one like Benny from a Lego movie. He's kind of based on that that era. And you know, there was cool, you, know, you could buy moonscapes and you could buy stuff like that, but it was it wasn't like it is now where you can get the NASA themed stuff and things like that, like some of the Mars program stuff that they're they're kind of making sets that are a little more grounded, right? And I think that's pretty sweet. I dig some of the new sets that they're coming out with. All right. Our hull is coming together. It's a lot of color going on here. A dive boat. I kind of would like to to see like a a dive boat, not necessarily a dive yacht. Also, boys and girls, safety Chris is here. We already talked about <laughs> the snow cannon on the back of my my thing here that really should be a winch, okay? <laughs> it really should be. It shouldn't be like 
Any guy who's driving a Goomer, groomer does not have a snow cannon on the back of it. Let's be honest, okay? That's just, that, that doesn't happen. It's not, a, it's not a safety thing at all. And it shouldn't come with a skier because the skier should be nowhere near that. Um, so <laughs> when it comes to diving, and this is, this is, I don't know if this is somebody in Lego not understanding how diving works. You would never, you need three people, okay? I mean, you're going to get a lesson, okay? And I'm going to get on my little, my little soapbox here. Um, because... You know, one of the ways people get hurt and lost uh, diving is that the boat either disappears or, you know, something happens to the diver underwater. We always dive in pairs. We always have a buddy. We call him a dive buddy. So for me, it's usually my wife or one of my best friends. Um, you know, Ed or John are usually diving with me. And... So we're always down there together. And your buddy is there to be your lookout. They're also your spare air canister. So we have an extra hose if you ever run out. You can hand your hose to somebody else and then they can buddy breathe and then you can get to the surface safely uh, and all those things, right? So you always have a buddy nearby. So a single diver under a boat, snorkeling is one thing, but diving, that would be bad. Uh, number two is that the boat should always be manned because they might need to respond to an emergency and come pick you up at a location that's different than you went down because maybe there's a current that you didn't spot and all of a sudden you're swept along and you pop up a mile away and now you have to swim against the current to get back to your boat. That's just a whole barrel of unsafe. So Lego, I love you to death. But look, a little homework, just a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> That's all I ask. Throw it, throw a third diver in there so I can have a, a safety talking moment with, with a young one or something like that. But you know, I appreciate that there's at least two. Two's better than, than one, but there, there should be, there should be a third. So you're going to sell me water skiing? Are you going to sell me one that just has one driver and one water skier? Because that's messed up too. You need a spotter. Got to have a spotter. Should have a spotter. I know a lot of people don't, but you should. Mirrors are not spotters. That's how people get hurt. All right. So we're doing, kind of looks like we're putting on the cleat. Oh, I like that. That's kind of cool. Putting a little cleat up front. Of course, I don't think I have an anchor. Ah, I bet you that's what that is. All right. Uh, now you want three of these guys. Oh, I see you're going around here now. So that's my soapbox. So now we do dive occasionally. We'll dive in a in a pair of three, which I know is not a pair, a group. Uh, and we do that because maybe somebody's buddy was sick or something um three is okay but but by yourself unless you're specifically trained to do that is uh it's not the best idea there is training which gives you uh solo diver certifications but obviously there's a lot of redundancies like you have you literally will have an extra spare air tank on you you will have double of your gear you'll have two masks so if you lose one you can grab another one um, yeah, there's, there's a lot to that certification. All right. I dig it. I can't wait to go diving again. I do miss it. I do miss it. Mostly it's kind of a money thing at this point. Getting out is, is, it's been expensive for the last year, so we haven't been able to do it. We could go up to the quarry, but not a lot to see, and it's awfully cold. All right, we're building the cabin. Looks like we're, we're hitting the home stretch here. I'm running low on pieces. Looks like we're going to build it. I like it's got it's a center console boat here. 
a little bit. A dive boat would be a really cool build, though. Honestly, like if you had like a big dive boat with like pairs of divers on it and lots of actual tanks, I think you could have a lot of fun with that. I think that might be a really fun build. And then you can kind of get away from the silly little two oxygen tanks. That might be a setup like doubles is not something we dive with. It's uh, they're, they're too big, too cumbersome. It's not what you get as a wreck diver. Uh, we just usually dive with a single tank, aluminum 80 pound tank. It's good for an hour. That'd be kind of cool, right? And then I always wonder, whenever I'm building these, how many of these pieces are custom for this set only? How many? Just don't know. All right, so that's that. So we're gonna set this aside for a minute. It looks like we're gonna start building the uh, the fly fly bridge, I guess the the awning, the canopy. Uh, I know there's a word, and it's just not in my brain right now. Bimini top. There you go. I, I knew it was there somewhere. Ha, that's where you guys go. I was wondering, had these two little upside down smoothie pieces. beans all right put these guys back here it's a fun little piece to build gonna be lots of little bits going in here ah there you are so he's a little getting some antennae. Antennae. The little throttle handles they like to use for like multiple things. It's kind of cool. All right. Well, let's see, did you get it right? Did you get this right? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember which side should be red. Uh, left port. Green. I believe it's red. Well, I know it's red right returning on buoys, but I believe the markings are correct. I believe that's correct. I like the little radar wing. It's also a boomerang, I'm sure. All right, and you get to go. You just go straight on there. Cool. All right. So you just picked this arbitrary number 36. Is that how big this boat's supposed to be? 36 feet? Is there a scale to Lego? I always I always imagine every set is unique, right? Like, you know, obviously the Saturn V is a completely different scale than everything else, right? Because it's it's a beast. It's a beast, I say. All right, home stretch here. See in the end, running out of bits. Mm. 
Now it's just some little bit of detail work it looks like here. What the heck are you supposed to be up front? I have no idea. Is it just the light? So it wants this stud. Then it goes in there. I guess it's just a little spotlight. Here I thought it was a, a cleat. Guess I was wrong. Wow. Like I, I'm used to getting a few extra bits when I when I build with with a set and everything, but I kind of feel like that's excessive. Right? Like look at that. That's a lot of bits. That's extra. I don't know. Who am I to judge, right? I mean, if you gave me another thing, you know, we could throw a bunch in the in the the chest here because like, they gave me an extra gem so we'll we'll throw some of the the round guys in there little gems little rubies uh, I think a soda can lid would be completely normal in there so we'll throw that in there too cool and then we can throw this on top of there because these stack we kind of do that so it's Kind of building a little coral thing over there with a the little fishy coming out from behind it. Let's put another little green stud on the ground just to use it up. There we go. Now I don't feel bad. Now I have four little leftover bits. Not quite as many, eh? Then we'll put the little crab over there. So there you go. So we got our, this lid. Now this should just pop right off because it's got these four studs attachment points so so I guess she would be kind of back here on the boat maybe he's coming in because he just got he got his camera he's down there diving distracted too because he's got his camera out man just the worst you know but she's the important thing is, you know, she has her, her watermelon wedge ready ready to eat. So we'll snap that in. Yeah, there you go. So maybe she's got a snack ready to go. Yeah. That is definitely soda, right? Right? No adult beverages here. And I got some extra bits. I always have extra bits. We'll just we'll just throw them in the back. There we go. No, oh, she lost her water on. What can I say? There you go. Now she can need her watermelon. There you go. So there we have it. There's our dive boat. That is it. Sitting in an hour. How exciting. So ah, I hope you enjoyed. Bum Mark wasn't here, but uh, yeah, maybe he'll join us next week. Uh, we'll try and build that clock because I think that that needs to get done. And uh, hopefully things are well with you and well in the world. And, uh, you know, that's all we can ask for, right? Can't ask for much more than that. So, yeah. Hi, Heather. Um... Oh, a build challenge. Well, that could be interesting. Instead of, yeah, just dump all the parts out and see if I can build it from scratch. That could be fun. That could be fun. We'll see. All right. Well, speaking of work, I do have stuff to do. I have a whole convention to put together. So that will keep me quite busy. So I hope you all had fun. Found that enjoyable. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Uh, let's see, Thursday, Thursday, 2 o'clock Eastern, we are going to cook. We're just going to do some coffee, going to do some beignets, just going to have some fun. So without further ado, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>